Hey guys, Levon here again. Today we're going to start a new segment in Fallout 4. Basically, we're going to be doing a permadeath playthrough. So once we die, that's going to be it. But we're also going to add a few other rules to the game we're playing as well. So we won't be able to heal. And that would include stim packs, of course, but you also can't use items that would give you resistance to damage. You also can't sleep. You can't wait. Radiation is permanent. You can't take it away and you can't give you any items that would make you resistance to radiation as well. Bugs, glitches as far as duping items with dog meat, you can't do that. You can't use the Brotherhood of Steel easy leveling glitch, nor can you use the bug for shipment orders and using that to make more money. You can also not use your companions at all unless you have to at some point in the game. Fast travel is also out the window. You War do have never to changes. Run You're gonna knock him everywhere. dead at the veterans hall tonight. The only huh? You think? We're actually kind of skeptical Absolutely. about at the moment. Now get is ready the usage and stop hogging the mirror. There are right. parts of the games where you do actually have to use it, but I'm more worried about towards the end of the game with radiation being permanent with going through that glowing sea multiple times. That seems like it's going to take its toll. But hazmat suits, we have said it would be okay for this run. And we're also not so clear on using items like jet that would increase our damage or something like uh, mintats or items like that that just give you like a skill boost. So we're going to leave that open for the first video until we get some feedback. I won't be using any of those items unless I have to, like I said, the hey, power my armor turn, big guy. part of the campaign. We'll have to use that for then, but we'll wait until next week for next playthrough for us to implement those other rules that we're talking about there. The other part about the healing factor in the game is that you naturally do heal over time. Given we are playing on survival, the hardest difficulty in the game, so it goes at a much slower pace, but you still, if you're going through a town or whatever, you are going to heal very slowly. So what we're going to say is we cannot abuse that mechanic. I can't leave my PlayStation on overnight and come back to a full bar of health. If I'm doing something else in the game, whether that's going to get items or working on a settlement, it's going to heal regardless. So we're just going to say that's okay since there's nothing we can really do about removing that mechanic. That does seem to be it for the rules that we'll be using in this uh, playthrough. There's not going to be a lot of commentary throughout this playthrough except for in the beginning of the videos which is going to be similar to what you hear right now. Aside from the gameplay, if you want to check out my Fallout 4 Underwater Exploration, I'll leave a link for you there. I also recently finished exploring underwater in Just Cause 3. I'll give you a link for that as well if you care to check it out. Other than that, let me get your input in the comments below and let me know if you think there's other roles or anything else needs to be adjusted for our playthrough. If you like what you're seeing, of course, throw us a like and if you want to see more from us in the future, feel free ah, to hit that subscribe morning, button. I'm going to let the game take over for now, and I'll see you guys later. Fahrenheit. Brew to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Hey, Codsworth. Enjoy your coffee, Mum. Hun? Can't believe it's almost Halloween. I need to finish making Sean's costume. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> oh, sounds like someone made a stick. I shall attend to young Sean. <laughs> I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. But then we're looking at a cold front coming down from Canada, making it crisp and dry for next week's Halloween festivities. Looking in on next week's forecast, we have a high of 52. Also, if there are troops stationed overseas, are experiencing some unusual weather as well. On the island of Mamba Jiao, the nights are cold, unseasonably so for Southeast Asia. But for the 5th Infantry, that's as comfortable as an autumn jamboree. All the easier for our mechanized Hellcats to drive any screaming commie memes. Right? <coughs> 
Good morning. vault -Tech calling. No offense, but no soliciting. Oh, no worries, ma'am. No worries at all. I'm not selling anything. Not today. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Maybe I don't want to talk to you. No. Oh. <clears throat> you do. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Uh, just go away. Won't take but a moment. We do need to verify some information to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of <coughs> total atomic annihilation. Come back some other time. Come on, hon. It's just a little paperwork. Let him fill it out, and it's done. I think you forgot what no means. Fine. I'll do it myself. Stubborn. Splendid. Splendid. Let's get to it. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Let's get pumpkins instead. Carve jack-o'-lanterns. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have what? lost contact with what our affiliate stations. Oh no. We do we do have we do have coming in 
That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Codsworth? Stay safe, honey. And your family as well, Mom? Oh, my. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. On the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, sir. You two, follow and me. God Come on. Sir. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. This way. Step on the platform in the center. Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Hold on! in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, we'd no. all be... Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Take a vault suit, then head down the hall. Good. Right over there. You'll need your suits before Thanks. we go any further. Take a what suit. now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. One vault suit. Oh, you're gonna love it. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. 
How long do you think we'll be down? They didn't make it. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit, don't you think? Yeah, let's check everyone off the list. to be they fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. It'll be okay. Mommy's fun. Could you? The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals, normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. Come on, come on. Oh, God. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. Thank you. 
Giant roaches? What the hell? What happened here? Where is everyone? This all that's left?
anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Am I the only one left? They did it. All that fighting, and for what? Everything's dead. Everything's dead? Ah, yes, the, the garden. Uh, the posies have been problematic, I admit. If only Sir were here to help. Where is he, by the by? They... They killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these... Terrible things. I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? He's gone, God damn it! Someone took him. They stole my baby. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some 
minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Focus, Codsworth. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. Sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. There's nothing left here. It's all gone. Well, if you wish to venture to parts unknown, I won't stop you. I shall guard the neighborhood in your absence. Hey, Codsworth. Mom. Give me the word, Mum, and I'll initiate my search protocol. Leaving? So soon? Was it something I said? <laughs> <laughs> 